have a few minutes to speak. Um, I returned now about two weeks ago from a solidarity mission run by a wider bridge. A wider bridge basically tries to deepen the connections of LGBTQ North Americans with LGBTQ in, in Israel. There were about 18 of us and um, we had an amazing trip and I'll just share a couple, couple things. Uh, I did see things, we saw things that I wish I could unsee. We went down to Kfaraza, uh, and in fact, we were welcomed by the, if you will, the guide. It was a, a young woman doing her military service, Maya, who when she met with our group, she said, I've been waiting for a group like yours, clearly referring to the LGBTQ group. Um, it was absolutely horrifying, of course, as you all know what we saw. I've chosen not to see video. I wish I didn't see certain things. I'm still trying to remove them from the forefront of my mind. Uh, we went, of course, to uh, the Supernova Music Festival. And there, uh, I saw this. Of course, for the 360 some who were murdered, the additional 40 who were taken hostage, one of them is Omer Shemtov. And we met with Omer's mother, Shelly, at the incredible facility, the all volunteer, full two floors on Hostage Square in, in front of Tel Aviv Museum, all volunteers, the hostage and uh, uh, missing persons family forum. It was so inspiring. And it is really what, among the, the things, the resilience of Israelis, it's, the among, it, it's among the things that gives me hope for your country and the country that, that I love. Uh, Omer uh, left his Shabbat dinner table with his two older uh, uh, sisters and his father, and his, his mother, Shelly, said, as usual, kissed her three times before he headed out with a couple friends to the music festival. Um, we met the incredible LGBTQ community in, in Israel. It's remarkable. Of course, this government has, is cutting back on you know, funding, but the municipalities are stepping up. In particular, we met it in Beersheba with the Pride House in Beersheba. It, again, so inspiring, and it's what gives me uh, hope for your incredible country and meeting with Ofer Erez, who is the first uh, trans captain in the IDF. Just really remarkable people and meeting him in the trans center in Tel Aviv, something that we don't have in San Francisco, a trans center. Um, and the, the work of the Hostages and Missing Family, Families Forum is incredible and just located at Hostage Square in front of the Tel Aviv Museum. And there was one, one thing there, I mean, so much that, that caught me, but this statement from Prophet Jeremiah, So there is hope for your future, says Adonai, and your children will return to their own border. And that, in addition to calling for elections now, that's why we're all here, and that's, uh, Everybody needs, needs to hear, hear this. Um, again, I'm, ho I'm hopeful. It seems crazy to, to be hopeful, but the resilience of Israelis, the majority of Israelis, the majority of Israelis supporting each other at this time of trauma and post-trauma stress is absolutely remarkable. And uh, it was a true honor for me to be there and to be here. Thank you.